So let's quickly look at the radial array command. Inventor calls it a pattern, but in SQL language it is an array. Um, so what I want to do is pick up this feature here and I want to have a, a, re a repetition of them around this circle. One word of warning, don't be tempted to create your array in the sketch. So you can do it here, either a circular array or a rectangular array. Um, don't do that because of two reasons. One reason, if I, let's say I had 30 tiny little ridges all the way around the edge of my of my circle there and I finish the sketch, in order to create the extrusion I'd need to pick up all 30 of those profiles. So that's going to take a long time. The other reason not to do it is that if you have a, a pattern, an array that is created from a sketch, when you come to your drawing it doesn't recognize it as a pattern and some of the features of the drawing that you can use to save time in uh, dimensioning it, it won't won't pick it up, it won't recognize it. So it's better to create your single extrusion and then to um, use the uh, array tool to create the, 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 the feature. So you want to pick up the feature you're going for and then you need to just pick up the axis um, which in this case is going to be the one running up the middle. It's going to drop in a, a, a number that as a, just as a, as a, as a start point you can obviously change that to whatever it is that you need and you can also change your your number of degrees over which the uh, array is going to go so if we're happy with that we can okay and another reason further reason not to create your array in a sketch if I now wanted to let's say I want to create a chamfer I'm just going to move my end of part above this, the pattern above this, the array if I wanted to let's say chamfer the corner of this just a little um, jump from there. Um, if I wanted to do that on all the other things that I'd create the array from, I'd need to again click around all 30 or however many I've put on and add that feature. Um, if I have done it the way I'm, I'm doing it now by creating the feature first, when I go back to my array command, if I edit that feature, I can select the chamfer. So that's now going to apply it and any number of other features I may want to be repeated all in a single um, pattern command, in a single array command. So you're much better off doing everything you want to do on one bit and then using that to create the array rather than doing them one at a time and over and over again.